Hey athletes, happy Wednesday. Brandon Brown here, physical therapist and wellness coach. Get your fixed physical therapy, get your fixed nutrition, CrossFit coach and running technique specialist. And I work with you athletes to get you to hitting your PRs in eight to 12 weeks through perform or through uh, training and nutrition. So what I wanna talk about today, something that um, so my morning mind a little bit more recently because of some tests that I had and some things I'm changing, but also just over time, just some changes that um, just digestive changes that happen in the body. So um, to bring you or to tell you my current story, <laughs> hey, Elliot, hey, Katie. So I um, my iodine levels have been deficient for a while. Uh, they've been steadily dropping. And um, most recent blood work, they were pretty low, like crazy low. And this is even with really, really high dose supplements that I'm taking uh, to try to work on elevating them. So uh, couldn't figure out why, worked with a naturopath, uh, talked with her, talked to another naturopath friend of mine, and kind of ran some ideas by him. And from what... We, we don't know anything yet, but we're I'm working on changing up my eating because what we just... Or what, I kind of discovered in this process through kind of these conversations is there's a group of foods that basically affect the thyroid and affect iodine levels. So, hey, Dan, thanks for hopping on. Hey, Mark. So um, in this group of foods is um, a lot of the vegetables I eat. So, um, hey, Robert. So there's um, broccoli and zucchini and um, those are the primary ones I was eating and spinach. So here's the thing. My smoothie in the morning, my green smoothie had three cups of spinach in it every morning. I eat broccoli almost every day. I eat zucchini almost every day. Cauliflower is on here, which I eat a lot of. So pretty much everything I was eating was, could essentially be destroying my body, <laughs> or at least tanking my body. So I uh, just recently had to clear out a lot of these vegetables and kind of recreate some foods, um, especially my breakfast, I had to recreate that. So if you saw any post post recently, that is why um, I've created a new smoothie. I created some new egg muffins and um, we're just kind of playing with things a little bit in order to figure out what's going on. So it's gonna be a process. I really don't know how soon I'm gonna notice any changes. Um, blood work is again in six months, so we'll see what happens there if I don't notice any changes before then. But um, so I, I kind of just wanted to get on here and talk about this for the factor of, even though these foods are great nutrient wise family hey brendan thanks for hopping on even though these nutrient these foods have amazing nutrients in it you know we're told to eat eat the rainbow to eat all eat these vegetables that they're good for us it doesn't mean they're good for you um everyone's bodies are different um, our bodies tolerate foods differently we digest foods differently uh and so just because it's a vegetable and it's it's supposed to be healthy it doesn't mean it's doing something good for your body so it's something to think about to kind of go back a little bit as well over the years i've done a number of food intolerance tests um, typically your digestive system changes every seven years and I, mine was pretty much like clockwork about seven years everything kind of switched but what i found in these food intolerance tests both times is the same thing like there's these healthy foods that are totally normal foods that my body was intolerant to and it was different each time. It kind of changed up each time. So uh, it's something to think about. And it may be you don't even notice, you don't even know you're having a reaction necessarily until you start to kind of um, do like eliminate foods and then bring them back in. Then you really start to notice kind of what's going on. Um, skin reactions, acne, things like that, breakouts can actually be a lot of these food intolerances. Um, digestive issues, obviously. But like fatigue or ener low energy levels, that can be food intolerance type issues. So there's a lot of just things in our body that are actually, that we just think is normal or um, is hormonal and things like that, that actually could be a food intolerance related. So it's something to think about if you're someone who just has a lot of breakouts or low energy, hey Eric, thanks for hopping on. And just these things that are constant but don't really totally make sense, then maybe start looking into um, if there's any if your body's intolerant to certain foods, because it's definitely possible. Um, along with that, like for me, um, recently my body switched again, and chicken and turkey are a no-go. <laughs> Great idea, Dan. Go save the world. I'll see you Friday. Um, so, where was I at with that? 
Oh yeah, <laughs> chicken and turkey. So actually for me, um, they are horrible for me again. I did, they were bad years ago. Hey Keats, they were bad years ago. I was able to eat them again and all of a sudden they, my body switched again and I can't. What I did discover though, is I can do free range organic in small quantities. So like once a month, once every couple months, I'm okay. If I eat it any more frequently than that, then I do have issues again. So uh, something to think about for you guys, if you are having, if you're noticing like digestive changes, if you're just systemic stuff, just stuff weird that doesn't make sense. Um, if you're really th lethargic, fatigued, could be food related, could be that your body's not liking something that, um, that you're eating that's typically healthy for people. So let me know your thoughts on this, questions, comments, concerns, go and post those below. And as usual, if you have any specific questions for me, feel free to reach out to me on Facebook Messenger. I'd be happy to have a conversation with you. So have an amazing rest of your day, guys. Talk to you later. Bye.